Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So we're on day 11 of summer. We're going to be changing seasons pretty darn soon. So uh, we're going to have to wrap things up for farming and stuff like that. We should have enough days to um, finish this up. It says four days. It's about 2.4 for that. So we should have it done by... Autumn first, I would say for that one, and probably about the same for that one as well. So I don't know how our cabbage is doing. Uh, three, one day. I don't know how long it takes to three days. So looking at about the same time. So everything should be ready for harvest for around that same time, actually. So that's good. Uh, this, uh, these will probably die during the winter. So we can harvest these ones here. Just get that all sorted out. And then we can start working on that. Uh, one of the things that I want to work on is getting this uh, doubled up so if there's like a lightning strike or something like that and one of the walls actually gets damaged too much and breaks that will have a extra barrier for the water so this area doesn't actually flood so that's kind of important I think right now to actually set up so I've been telling them to work on that and we don't have that many builders so it's kind of just taken <laughs> A little bit of time a lot of them are still working on the church and stuff which is coming along really good by the way I'm really impressed how it looks and stuff but um, yeah it, it's taken a little bit of time to actually build and stuff like that uh, we might be able to fit in wood on the first floor maybe I don't know I, I don't want to like put it outside because it could rot but I do need wood here so it's a little bit easier for them to get materials, I think. That might be taking most of the time. So let's go ahead and go to raw materials and we'll select wood for that. And we'll set this to high. So that should help. And I'm not sure how our tree farm is doing. It might be ready by winter. We'll see. Um, I did have a late start to planting, so Hopefully we'll be able to get um, some of it. Like, they'll survive through the winter, I'm no doubt about that. Well, that one might not, but we'll see.
right, so I'm looking at what we can unlock at the moment. And I think what we're going to unlock is the chemistry one that will allow us to finally make a, um, what would you call it, infirmary, I think it's called? Infirmary, yeah. So uh, that will uh, be a place where the settlers and stuff can go when they're injured. Uh, we probably want it near the front gate as well. Um, so I have to plan out where about I'm going to be planting or putting that. Um, now we do have this space here, which I was actually thinking about moving uh, over to this spot over on this side uh, for a tree farm. Now, reason for that is one, it's right by the front gate. It's like prime real estate for uh, building and stuff like that because most of our town is on this side anyways. And the other thing is um, our farms aren't over on this side anymore. So it makes sense to have it over on this side. I'm not sure what I want to do over here just yet on the these parts, but uh, a lot of this still needs to be mined out. So it's not ideal for planting trees at the moment, which is why I'm thinking putting it over here might be a better option because there isn't much that needs to be mined out outside of some salt. I think that's salt. Yeah, some salt. So we should be fine if we put it over on this side. Um, we'll have to mine some of the trees and stuff out. I also uh, adjusted these um, jobs a little bit. So everyone has at least five jobs. Um, not too many more jobs are usually provided. Uh, so, you know, additional crafting and stuff is, you know, ideal. But um, for the most part, oh, I forgot that guy. Uh, we'll get him to go with mining for two. Oh, constructing actually is better. Uh, yeah, two mining and then animal husbandry, or maybe animal husbandry and then mining. I don't think there's anything else I want for him. Maybe fishing. And we'll set that to four. So yeah, that's basically what I've been doing is I've just been um, making sure that everyone has like five jobs at least and then they can focus in on those five specific things. And if they start idling or whatever, then we can go ahead and um, get them to do something else. But I, I have a feeling that we're just like, we're having too many people do specific jobs and stuff like, or not enough specific jobs and things aren't getting done as efficiently as they could be so that's why I'm trying to delegate the jobs a little bit more but we'll see how that works out and um
All right, so we're finally got to harvesting, and I'm just making sure that all this stuff gets uh, moved over to storage. So we'll have that done in a little while, and they start working on getting all this stuff moved as, or harvested as well. So we'll just tell them to speed that along. Okay, that's ripening. Yeah, so everyone's basically working over here at the moment. Just make sure that all these are um, priority for moving for the dogs. And um, the other ones, uh, the beets and carrots, this is day two already, but um, they're due in like nine hours or whatever, so give or take 13 hours for some of them, so. Uh, that might take a little bit longer, but um, it'll be good because it's we, we didn't overdo it They'll, they'll still um, be able to be harvested by the end of autumn. So that's good um, Try to balance it out just enough where we'll have enough time to do all that, but It's sometimes hard to do with this game because you don't know exactly How long it's going to take something to uh happen with all the conditions and stuff like that so but oh and uh they did finish the um building part right here so they got that all set up now so we have a little bit more protection just in case it gets damaged or whatever this whole area won't flood so that's good and just wanted to get some of these parts in as well for the um cabbage I'm kind of waiting most of the season to do this so we'll get that part set up I'm not sure what that is oh I think that's the seeds that's right we'll we'll put that away for now and we need to rezone this a little bit okay I don't think that's gonna be enough um, seeds there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove that top layer and just place this in here yeah that should be better and then we can fill that in with wood there all right so that one will be complete and then we can start working on that um, for the gardening part and hopefully by the time uh, it comes around, we'll be able to get the other gardens up for the beetroots and carrots too. Alright, so something really bizarre just happened. I'm pretty sure it's a bug, but it was just like... Okay, they were having this um, ritual for the... 
the thing and I had a sheep come in here and usually you're like okay well whatever you know sheep and then someone at the very final moments came in here and started shearing the sheep and it didn't die it just kind of lived and they all just kind of left it and they walked away and I'm just like okay that's weird <laughs> So I'm not sure what happened, but it was definitely an odd thing. Uh, they still got a positive effect from the the event, which is, like, fine. But it was definitely something a little bit different. I wasn't expecting that to actually happen for um, the sheep to actually get, like, um, sheared while everyone was doing their thing. I was just like, all right, that's weird. So we had two events. Uh, both were pretty good. Uh, we had got to keep our sheep which was even better I guess and um, we had the um, event for the uh, other one some factions sent over their people for the religion so I thought I would get the people to um, host for us uh, other than that uh, we're doing good for the uh, mining and stuff like that we got some of the church stuff built today just a few pieces but you know getting it sorted out it's coming along so i'm pretty happy with it we'll start putting on the roof pretty soon so once we get the floors in but um if you are new to my channel uh don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time don't forget i have a discord server so if you're interested in that definitely check it out outside of that that's all for me thanks for watching